The Penguin Ice Factory in Port-au-Prince produces up to 4,000 10-pound bags of ice cubes per day. Electricity is the key to keeping the factory's machines running and to keeping the more than 30 people who work here employed, says the factory's owner. E-Power is one of the first private sector energy projects in Haiti and an important step toward the country's recovery from a devastating earthquake two years ago. The state-of-the-art power plant in Port-au-Prince has been steadily boosting energy to the capital since the plant's inauguration in early 2011. We actually now are supplying 15% of the demand of the Port-au-Prince area, but because we're coming with a brand new plant, we were able to stabilize the, the frequency and, and uh, the stability of, of, uh, of the supply. This new steady supply of energy is serving local communities by powering their homes and businesses and education and health services. It's much better because we can say that we have electricity in the middle of the day, ainsi que dans la soirée. Donc si on a pris, ça ne va pas durer plus que 5 à 10 minutes et puis on redonne. E-Power has increased energy capacity in Port-au-Prince by as much as 35%. It burns heavy fuel oil rather than diesel oil and is saving Haiti's government money that can be directed to other public services. If we produce with the right uh, technology and do it the right way and competitively, we can bring down the cost of electricity for the, the state utility and, and help them save, help the country save money. ePower is majority owned by a consortium of Haitian investors and a large Korean electricity utility. The International Finance Corporation, the private sector arm of the World Bank Group, led the financing to develop the power plant, which sells its electricity to Haiti's state-owned utility, EDH. Most of ePower's 180 employees are hired locally and receive specialized on-the-job training. We are very keen on training, on developing our local people because we think that, you know, it's not just having a good plant that is producing well and that is respecting the environment and the community, but somewhere we have to also help build up the technical base of this country. In addition to producing more energy for Port-au-Prince and surroundings, ePower is drawing more investors to the impoverished and neglected area it sits in. We knew that we would add more electricity, more security in the area, so it kind of encouraged me to start investing in the area, and now I'm opening the cement distribution. The increase in energy is a demonstration of progress being made in Haiti, say the country's budding entrepreneurs. 41-year-old Sony Sabin is tapping the new power to open several small businesses, including this barber shop. For, for me, I'm a small businessman, a small commerce. To make a coiffeur, a barber, it needs electricity. The new power source, he says, is a true light of hope in Haiti's path toward economic development.